The transmission in your auto shift truck is not an automatic. I'll explain what type of transmission you have and why it is important for the driver to know. Trucker Path is a trucker GPS that not only tells you best route to get to your destination, but it also gives you lots of great information on parking places, truck stops, and even has parking availability given to you by other truck drivers. Also, great reviews. I use Trucker Path because not only does it tell you where all the truck stops are and way stations and stuff, but also gives you all kinds of information, including truck parking. Places that are not truck stops, but they do have truck parking. I use Trucker Path. I'm also uh, one that does reviews on uh, places that allow truck parking and things like that. Uh, also gives you great information on hotels and stuff like that. Trucker Path, uh, you can download it for free to use, uh, you know, to find uh, places to park and stuff like that. And you can also uh, subscribe to it to be able to use it as a GPS. Click on the link below and give it a try. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am the Oklahoma Tomcat coming to you from Eden, Ohio. As you can see, I am back in my truck. The truck did uh, get fixed after a week being in the shop. Um, the issue was the uh, clutch on the truck burnt out, which caused the truck to shift erratically. And then eventually stopped shifting all together. And it burned out pretty good. Um, which, that does bring up a good timing for me to talk about these transmissions in these trucks. Um, what type of transmissions in them? Why is it very important for us to know? Uh, this is not the first uh, automated shift truck I had. Um, that has had issues. In fact, the previous one I had was the International and it was a total nightmare. Uh, Freightliner Cascadia with the Eaton uh, transmission <clears throat> so far has been uh, a lot better. But let me first explain to you what type of uh, transmission is in these automated shifting trucks, or as I like to call them, auto shifts. So here is uh, the front end of my, uh, the dash of my truck, and right there is the shifter. Um, this here is a 2018 Cascadia with the uh, uh, Eaton Fuller uh, transmission. A uh, 12 speed forward, to 12 gears forward, up to four gears in reverse. Um, which <laughs> that's quite uh, different than what I've driven before. And the type of transmission is a manual. Yep, that's correct. These automated shift trucks have a manual transmission not an automatic now how do you know that they have a manual and why is it so very important to know that your truck has a manual transmission i mean after all we don't work on them right we just drive them well it's very important to know because the way your truck operates and uh, uh, what can go wrong with them is very, you know, depending on the type of transmission you have. Now, 
A manual transmission has a manual gearbox, of course, a clutch, uh, and a gear shifter. One of the things that uh, probably confuses a lot of people is the fact that, you know, uh, automated shift truck, uh, you don't see the gear shifter and you don't see the clutch. But trust me, it's got it. Um, but that is what went out in this truck just last week, or the previous week now, is the uh, clutch. A automatic transmission has planetary gears, disc packs, and uh, or what we call plates, and torque converters, uh, which is what is used to shift the truck. There is no clutch on an automatic transmission. Now, what actually uh, activates the clutch on an automated uh, shift truck is air. This is important to know. Um, I have had times where air pressure dropped in the truck and, you know, because I'm getting loaded and stuff and the air pressure goes down and I tried putting that uh, truck in gear would not do it because it couldn't press the clutch. What controls the shifting and what actually tells the air to shift, to, to press the clutch, is a computer. This is very important to know. That computer has to be working, has to have electricity in order to actually shift your truck. Uh, if anything goes wrong with that, your truck is going to shift weird. And this is what happened with me on the international truck I had before, is that truck, the shifting on that truck was just totally, totally messed up. And it was always messed up. I mean, I had a hard time with that truck and she just would not shift properly. Huge problem. A problem you don't have with an automatic. Now, What's the pros and cons with the uh, manual uh, transmission? Because automatics were tried on a semi truck. Uh, they've been experimenting with this for quite some time. Uh, but they always had trouble with it. Um, fuel efficiency, manuals are more fuel efficient than automatic. Lower cost. The weight of the transmission, automatics weigh more than a manual. Now some things to keep in mind with the manual is manual transmissions will roll backwards. Don't believe me? Put your truck in gear, take the foot off the brake, and wait. It will roll backwards. The thing that uh, prevents these automated shift trucks from rolling backwards is what's called more like what I always call them. They were called it in a manual, I mean in the international. And that is hill assist. This button right here is what will turn that hill assist off. Some I found out is that there are drivers who do not know about this button. Uh, when you back your truck up, you should hit that button to override the hill assist. Uh, that will prevent a lot of the shaking and stuff that goes on when you're trying to back up a truck, especially when it's loaded and you're trying to make a 90 degree back. That hill assist, uh, what's happening is that hill assist is trying to prevent your truck from backing up. Now, when you want to back up, uh, that creates problems. So what you do is you hit that button, back up your truck. Remember, once you're done backing up, hit it again, that will turn it off. Now this here is in the Freightliner. Uh, the button may be in other places on a, in other trucks. So that's another important th reason why you need to know what type of transmission is in your truck. Your truck will roll back. 
I've had this problem before when that hill assist messes up, the truck will, uh, would start rolling back every time I went to try, you know, if I stopped on the hill and then I went to get going, the truck would start rolling backwards, you know, by the time I put my foot from the brake to the accelerator. Unlike a manual, uh, an actual manual, you know, where you have a clutch pedal and you can balance them out to prevent your truck from rolling backwards while it tried to gain speed. Automatic, you don't have that problem. You have your truck, your vehicle in drive, and it ain't gonna roll backwards. You know, manuals, they will. The other thing that's important is automatic transmission fluid. Come on, people. If you had an automatic vehicle, you put automatic transmission fluid. Have you noticed that in your automated uh, shift truck, you're not putting an automatic transmission fluid in your truck? Why? It's not automatic transmission. Another thing is when you park. When you're parking an automated truck, you have that truck in neutral, right? Um, this creates a problem sometimes because, and I don't know, maybe it's because drivers are failing to realize that they're not driving an automatic. If you put that truck in neutral and you forget to set your brakes, your truck's going to roll. Automatic, you put it in park, right? Not neutral. Um, but in a manual transmission vehicle, you put your vehicle in neutral and you got to make sure you set your brakes. Or if you have a car, you can set, you can put that transmission in uh, uh, first gear or whatever to prevent it from rolling. As a semi truck, you always put it, your truck in neutral, pull the brakes. Well, why is that? Because you have a manual transmission, not an automatic automatic put in park your vehicle ain't gonna roll um, so these are just some of the things that make it to where you have to realize what type of transmission you have okay I mean I see trucks rolling because the person forgets to set their brakes you know um, remember you got manual transmission your trucks gonna roll if you don't set those brakes um, let's see, I think that's all that I had in mind to mention. There's many other reasons, you know, differences of, uh, between, uh, another thing with the clutch, clutch abuse. Okay. I've heard that, you know, drivers abusing that clutch, uh, in a automated truck. And what they're doing is they're pushing up against the dock and just constantly back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Something to keep in mind with these automated trucks. Unlike a regular, man, you know, uh, manual where you're actually in control. Is every time that truck shifts, you're using the clutch. And uh, that there heats the clutch up because it's overheat. Um, over usage and when you go back and forth back and forth back and forth you're kind of abusing that clutch um, so you gotta watch out for that another thing is if, when that truck shifts like I said it's going to constantly use that clutch this is where it's different from the way we used to drive trucks in a manual where we had the actual shift and the clutch pedal is we didn't use that clutch all the time when we shifted. We did what was called floating gears. Uh, a lot of your big companies didn't like that. But it's the way we drove. But these trucks, they're not going to do that. They're going to constantly hit that clutch button, that clutch. So, you know, if you see your truck constantly shifting all the time, that's something to keep in mind is you may be burning up that clutch. But just some of the things to think about. And remember, you know, you do have a manual transmission. 
the hill assist. Uh, a problem I had with that is in the international, that hill assist actually malfunctioned, which caused me to roll back and I had, you know, you have to take your truck in when that starts happening. If your truck is rolling back and you got an automated shift truck, you do need to take it in because you're going to hit somebody behind you. That's very dangerous. The other thing, when you're going down mountains, you notice in these automated shift trucks, they go in neutral. I don't like that. I, I really don't. Um, and that's because I've had issues with the transmission before with the computer not shifting properly. That truck goes in the neutral. This is what really bothers me with these automated shift trucks. That truck goes in the neutral. If the computer doesn't pick it back up, it's not going back in gear. And so I'm to keep in mind, your engine brake does not work when the truck's in neutral. This even goes with the manual shift trucks. Your engine brake needs that transmission to be connected with the drives to slow your truck down. That's how the engine brake works. It uses the engine to slow down your truck. If that, tr if that transmission is in neutral, the gears aren't engaged, your drive is just freewheel. Your drives are just freewheeling. Um, so if that computer malfunctions and your truck's in neutral, you're going down that mountain without any engine brake, without any way of slowing down that truck other than brakes, which we know that's not a good thing. Uh, yes, I have had that problem before. And it ain't a good problem to have. What I ended up doing was shutting down the truck and then restarting it while I was going down the mountain so that it hopefully my theory was it's going to reset the computer, which thankfully it did. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you ever do run that problem, uh, is shut down the truck and restart it. Hopefully the computer will pick up, you know, will reboot. Um, see, automatics, you don't have those issues, do you? I mean, you put the, truck, the vehicle in drive and go, you're going to stay in gear. Uh, the benefits of planetary gears. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope I've been able to uh, inform you guys of the difference uh, between the automated trucks and automatic transmissions and manual transmissions that's in the automated trucks, automated uh, shift trucks. Um, something I was going to say at the beginning, I'm sorry. Um, what caused me to do this uh, blog and talk about this? I used to think every time a driver said automatic when referring to these automated shift trucks, that they were just saying automatic because it's easier to say than automated shift or <laughs> auto shift is what I always say. But I've recently found out that that isn't always the case. There are actually drivers who actually think that these automated shift trucks are automatics. And that's not the case. And I found out that there was drivers who didn't know about that hill assist. And, uh, you know, that a computer was actually shifting their trucks. And they thought that it was actually the transmission that was doing the shifting um, or the tor torque converters were doing the shifting and that is not the case at all um, and they and I've ran across one driver who thought automatics had clutches because their truck had a clutch no automatics don't have a clutch they don't need a clutch um, that's why you've never heard of a clutch burning out on an automatic transmission no clutch so um, I hope
hope this has been very helpful for you guys. It, like I said, it's very important to understand the vehicle you're driving, especially when it weighs 80,000 pounds, you know, um, this way. So you're aware when something goes wrong, what it basically is and, you know, how you can get your truck back under control or at least safely parked, you know. Um, I mean, you don't have to know everything. You're not a mechanic. You don't have to know how, you know, the whole details. That's why I've not gone through the whole details on how, you know, these transmissions work. <coughs> you don't need to know that. You just need to know the basics, what you have and what's the difference in them. And for if you're a owner operator, it's very important to understand, you know, because you're going to make your choices based on these details what's the benefits what's the pros and cons and all that stuff y'all take care i guess i need to take uh sasha for uh, her last walk for today <laughs> she's growling at me and everything y'all take care god bless <laughs>